Hi everyone, this is Teal from Pagablocks.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to refill this Pentel color brush pen. This brush pen uses a large ink cartridge. Currently the official retail price for the ink refill is $2.40 in US currency. So if you are going to buy a lot of this, you can spend quite a bit of money. So today I'm going to teach you how to save money by refilling this cartridge. The tools you need are, of course, the Pentel color brush pen. I will be using Rotring ink. Today I have already poured some into this glass bottle so that it's easier for me to get the ink out. I like Rotring ink because it's waterproof when dry so I can use it with watercolor. And you need a needle. This is a blunt needle. So it has a blunt tip and the capacity is 1 ml which is quite good. I will post a link to where you can find this needle. The price for this is 65 cents US currency and you can buy them in packs of 10 so it's really affordable. And this needle itself is already cheaper compared to the ink cartridge refill. And lastly you'll need a pen knife or tweezer. So um, let's take a closer look at this part here. This is where you will have to dismantle the cartridge. Before you start, I recommend placing some newspaper beneath this cartridge so that you don't mess up your table. And also, it's good to have some paper towels around. All right, I'm going to be using my pen knife to basically pull out this stopper here. Be careful when working with the pen knife. Now there is supposed to be a very thin line here at this edge here. It's about 1 mm away from the top. It can be quite difficult to see it, but it's there. So with the pen knife, I would carefully place the cutting edge at the line there and push it down like this. And then try to open it like this. If there is ink inside the cartridge, there may be ink coming out later, so that's why you should put a newspaper beneath it. So I'll just um, do this motion like this just to push the stopper away from the cartridge. You can see I have created quite a nice gap. Now I can put away my pen knife and just basically pull out this stopper. If you want to, you can use the paper towel and basically just wrap around it and pull so that will be less messy in case the ink starts gushing out. I have already cleaned my cartridge so this is what's inside. So this is how the ink system looks like. If you are taking this out for the first time, this is going to be soaked with ink and some ink may actually flow out from this opening here so be careful, it can get a bit messy. How it works is, well, there should be ink inside and the ink will actually flow to a small opening that is right here. Can you see that small opening? So the ink would actually go into this small opening and go into this uh, tube here. So through the small opening ink from inside this cartridge, it can go in and it can also come out. That is why when you take this out the first time, it's soaked with ink. So once the ink goes into that small opening, it travels all the way to the back of this tube here and goes into another tube. Let me dismantle this. So the ink will go all the way to the back and then go into this small tube here and then come all the way here and out to this stopper and then flow into the brush. So you can actually dismantle this and these are all the different parts of the ink system. Here's a closer look at the stopper. Now inside there is actually a little disc with a triangular shape cut out and behind this disc is actually the hole where the ink can go into and out from this hole. Now this part actually moves around. You can see I can actually move this part around. 
if you do not take out this stopper and if you try to force your ink into this hole here it will not work because in order for ink to go inside air has to escape and there's nowhere else for the air to escape so you have to take out this stopper in order to fill the ink into this cartridge because I want generous ink flow I'm not going to be using these two tubes I'll just be using this stopper and this cartridge and now it's time to fill up the cartridge this is the needle with 1 ml capacity so let's see how many times I can refill this I have just refilled this 8 times so the capacity for this cartridge is around 8 ml I'm not going to fill it all the way to the brim because I still need to put my stopper in I don't want the ink to be gushing out so let me just push this back slowly and put the brush back let's test out the ink flow now I think the ink flow is fantastic let's see if I can get a solid black wash so if you want more ink you can just press it just to let the ink flow and the ink flow is really generous even without pressing the ink flow is fantastic so that is how I refill this Pentel color brush pen to prevent the pen from leaking, I will put this into a hard case, pencil case, so that there's no way for me to accidentally press the cartridge that forces the ink out. If you find the ink flow to be too generous, you want it to be more controlled, you can use the tubes. Just refill this big tube with ink and put the stopper back to this tube and then push it back in and then put it back into the cartridge. So that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will post links to where you can find a blunt needle as well as the rotring ink. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helpful. See you in the next video. Bye.